Introduction to Blender 2.8, the Craft Editor. In Blender, keyframes store values for each property that is animated. The value of each property can be plotted on a graph, where X represents the current frame and Y represents the value of the property. When you insert a keyframe for a property, it is automatically added to the graph editor. In the graph editor, you can edit multiple aspects of how the property changes from one keyframe to the next. This is called the interpolation mode. There are 13 different interpolation modes, and each one has a unique aspect that makes it useful for one thing or another. There are times when you might want something to be moving or rotating at a certain speed until it suddenly stops. An example of this is a door closing. In the graph editor, you can add modifiers to properties. There are seven different modifiers that you can add, and each one has a unique function that it performs. Like object modifiers, Blender will use the modifiers from the top down to modify the property. I have not really used modifiers a lot in the graph editor for animations, though they can create some interesting effects. To affect how the property changes before the first and after the last keyframe, you can change the extrapolation mode of the selected property. You can make the property cyclic, repeating in a constant loop. This adds a cycles modifier to the property. Changing the extrapolation mode of the property to be linear will make the value of the property continue to change past the last keyframe based on the last two keyframes in that direction. The cycles modifier will supersede the linear extrapolation mode unless you restrict the keyframe range of the modifier the number of repeats before or after the repeated motion or the influence of the modifier. You can restrict the frame range of every modifier changing the start frame and the end frame as well as the number of frames for the modifier to fade in and fade out. You can also change the influence of every modifier. The limits modifier can be used to limit the values that a property can be. This can be used in conjunction with other modifiers to create some interesting results. The noise modifier generates random values based on the strength value that you set. The scale setting changes how fast the values change over time. The phase value generates the seed for the random number generator and the offset changes where the noise modifier starts in the given random seed. You can have the modifier replace the values for the property, or you can have it the modifier add, subtract, or multiply them. Some properties can only change in increments of whole digits. You can use the stepped interpolation modifier to force any property to change in increments. You can adjust the scale of the step size, though the step size is not a one-to-one -one ratio. You can also change the offset of the modifier. Baking audio to a property is one of the most forgotten things that you can do in the graph editor. When you bake audio, Blender uses the volume of the audio's waveform to create the values for the property between 0 and 1. This was a long topic, and if you are still here, I would like to thank you for watching the whole video, and happy animating.